tonight's battle, Dan Pat takes on Stephen, a.k.a. New York, in a three-round contest at Mink Nightclub. Each round is a challenge carefully designed to test a player's ability to seduce women in a real-life battlefield. The cameras are hidden, the women are real, and the game is on. Across town at Kai Lounge, our expert panel of pickup commentators with perspectives descending from the four corners of the male psyche. There's Alan, the cold, calculated master of pickup analysis, Peaches, an ex all star jock inspired seduction specialist, Sheldon, the mysteriously coy and unorthodox philosopher, and Chris, a hopelessly romantic man of integrity. Together, they will closely critique each player's performance and crown a single champion. The prize, an epic VIP event where the champion and his closest friends will enjoy full bottle service and the company of our sexy VIP girls. Tonight's champion will celebrate at a flair model party at lot 332. Let's take a closer look at tonight's players. Up first, down Pat. What's up everyone, my name is Pat and welcome to the playpen. This is the poker table. This is where we play some dirty strip poker. And over here, guys, this is my little music station. You know, some ladies like the musician, guy with talent. They love it, they love it. This is one of my favorite parts about the playpen is my home gym. I'm a part-time personal trainer. And I'm not gonna lie, I only train hotties. You're gonna bend over a little bit, a little more, a little more, and now squeeze nice and tight. Good. Nice, keep that nice arch in your back. Ladies come to me to be trained because first of all, I make them feel really comfortable. Form's looking perfect from this angle. Remember, pain is weakness leaving the body. You should be getting really tight in your inner thigh right here. It was just a gift I was born with, what can I say? Go big or go home. Oh, nice. My personality, women love me because I'm a very honest, respectful, trustworthy person. You know, I would never do anybody wrong. I have a really good heart. I was raised by a very good family. And that's what women really love about me. <laughs> All right, guys, well, that's our first look at, uh, at Patrick. And you know what? I, I don't know. There's some incongruities here. I, I'm a little bit concerned. Chris, what are you thinking right now? Normally, I wouldn't like the rich kid because, you know, it's either a love and hate relationship with guys like that. But he seems like a really cool guy, straight up, humble, comes from a good family, multi-talented. I think he's going to do really well tonight. You know what? That basement gives women about a thousand reasons to come back to his house. So that will always play well if you're doing good in the bar. I'm a little bit jealous. If I had a basement like that, I would never left home. Yeah. <laughs> That's a pretty crazy a nice pad but uh, he's, he's multi-talented he has a lot of experiences through life and I think that's gonna do uh, help him in the field you know what I think I think there might be a little subterfuge happening here I think there might be a little sleight of hand he comes to the poker table it's one of those cheap fold-out tables it's on <laughs> he's got that kind of full full painting in the background there's that might... subtle little hints that tells you you know what maybe he's not the rich kid that we think he is <laughs> that's fine let's leave Patchy to his little fantasy let's take a look at Steve and now Steven aka New York Yo, what up, Keys to VIP? My name is Steven, I'm from New York City. I'm driving here! Yo, yo! Ha ha! Got you! Peace! Representing 108, 14 MSR, Queens Bridge, yo. I'm gonna do it for you guys tonight. Yo, learn it! And I'm making an illegal U-turn. What are you gonna say about that? And I'm just a player, because I can get any girl I want. And if they don't like me, they can go themselves. That's it. Okay, when I'm doing my hair, I use two products. First, I use glue for the foundation, and then use the paste for the ending to make it a nice tip. A nice tip at the end. Why do you use so much? I don't use a lot. <laughs> nice guys always finish last, no, no matter what. Don't ever be nice to your girl. Don't ever be nice to your girl. You're nice to your girl, you buy her jewelry, you buy her car, you buy her house, but she, at night, she's gonna be with me because I'm the bad boy. The weakest part of my game... Hold on, let me think. I don't know. I don't know. Should I make something up? <laughs> you know what, this is like me versus Chris, and I mean, it's obvious who I'm going for. Yeah. I mean, yeah. there's my boy from New York, you know what I mean? Yeah. Chris, what do you got? This guy's the biggest jabroni I've seen in a while. <laughs> he's the reason why I dread ever having a daughter, okay? Yeah. And, and you know what, he's that th type of guy that makes it so easy for the nice guys. Well, there is a philosophy that if you treat a girl like dirt, she'll stick to you like mud, and clearly he believes in that, so, you know, it might work in the bar. Listen, I lived in Queens. New York for a little bit, 52nd and Jamaican Avenue, and I know for, for a fact that Queens has better representative than this. Like, this is the way this guy's driving. The girl won't make it home with him. Like, this is brutal. This guy's too manic. I don't think he's gonna do well. You know, I think this guy's gonna do great. He's brash, he's young, he doesn't care. So let's check out the first game and let's see how these guys do. 
coming up after the break. When are you going to call me? Whenever I am in the mood. Oh. <laughs>